Good morning, everyone. So today is Thursday, and that means today is the day that I pick up my honey from the airport. I'm so excited. I have, I don't know, like another hour or so until I need to head to the airport, I'm going up to Portland to pick him up. And then I don't know what we're going to do. I guess it kind of depends on how he's feeling. He's had like 30 plus hours of flying, so we may just head back to Roseburg or stop and do some shopping, get something to eat, but I'm just so excited to see him. I can't wait. So it was so funny guys. So I talked to Brian a little bit yesterday and asked him, you know, is there anything that you want me to like bring for you from home? And he's like, a clean pair of clothes. So I got him some jeans, just a whole outfit um, that he can change into at the airport because he's been wearing the same clothes for a couple weeks and I don't know how he must feel probably pretty dirty I imagine he showered in the Singapore airport but didn't get a lot of showering in the last two weeks so got in some clothes as I was honestly just debating whether or not I should bring my puppy with me but it's like a three hour drive and that's a long ways but I just know how excited she would be to see Brian and how happy Brian would be to see her but I just don't know it's a long trip maybe we'll just wait for the road trip for a little while longer when she's a little bit older or I don't know when we know how she'll do, but it was a good idea. Also, I just got these shoes. My feet are starting to swell, pregnancy problems. And so I needed some like really comfy, just like easy shoes to wear. And so I got these and they have like memory foam on the bottom. They're from like Payless. So they're, I mean, they're not like the best quality, but like they feel like I'm walking on clouds, which is the most important part. So I'm pretty happy about these. I think these will work out a lot better, especially at work in the afternoons. My feet started to like swell up. I think I'm from sitting all day. So I'm gonna get a sit stand at work, but these are really nice. All right, so it's like 9.30. I'm leaving a little bit earlier. I was planning to leave by 10, but I don't know about traffic. I don't think it'd be that bad, but just in case I'm leaving a little bit early. Um, heading out now, it was a little bit alarming. I got a text message from Brian. He's in San Francisco on his last layover before his flight from San Francisco to Portland. And he was like, hey, make sure that you check the flight number like periodically as you're coming up here because um, right now it says that there's a five hour delay, but they're talking about um, switching planes. There's not a delay. And when he said five hour delay, I almost cried like, what? But then I was like, I'd regrouped myself and I was like, that's okay. I can still go up to Portland. I can go shopping. I can do this and that. And, and then like a couple minutes later, he's like, okay, there's no delay. They switched flights. So it's totally fine. And so I told him like what my plan was. And I think he was thankful that um, Southwest saved him some money so that his wife doesn't go shopping for five hours while she waits for him. So anyway, I'm just pulling out of our driveway now, heading up to Portland. Um, and going to pick up my honey. Well, I got to, oh, there's people walking. Well, I got to Portland like an hour and a half early. Did some shopping, bought some little baby girl bandana bibs cause they were like really cute and super cheap. And then I got a shelf at Ross and then I checked out Home Goods and they had some cute things, but like everything was like more expensive than I wanted to spend. And I didn't really come here to spend money, so. Uh, anyway, I'm waiting now. I've got like an hour to kill before Brian arrives. I checked his flight. It's on time. Um, so yeah, just waiting around for Brian to come. So excited, but I got here early and now I'm like, what do I do? But it's okay. I'm hungry, but I'm gonna wait till Brian gets here because I'm sure he's gonna be hungry so we can go get something to eat. So I brought some snacks, but yeah just gotta kill another hour it's really hard when you're like really excited and waiting for something to like just like kill time but that's okay i can wait i've waited two weeks i can wait another hour guess who's home guess who's back <laughs> back again brian's home Bebop's back back with friends we are just leaving the airport and we're gonna go get something to eat i brought brian a change of clothes um, Hallelujah! He does not smell like an Indian farm like he told me he would. I, I do. <laughs> I can't smell you. But um, anyway, we're going to go find something to eat and find a bathroom and then head home back to Roseburg. So I'm so happy he's home! Eyes on the road.
<laughs> so this lighting isn't the greatest, but it'll work. Ah, I'm so sorry guys, I didn't really vlog as much as I thought I would for Brian coming home, but as you can imagine, we were very like in the moment and just enjoying each other's company and, and he had so many stories about India and just the work that he was doing and the people that he met and he's actually preaching at church tomorrow um, about it all, so he's been busy the last day or two. It's now Saturday, he arrived on Thursday, so He's been busy the last day or two, just catching up on sleep, as you can imagine, with the 13-hour difference from India to here, and then also just working on his sermon. He's super stoked to be preaching and sharing about um, his time in India, and so he's actually at basketball now. It's Saturday night, and I'm just editing the vlog, and realized there really wasn't much vlog of Brian, <laughs> and it was more just me getting ready and now me ending the vlog after him coming home, so... Um, but it'll be really nice to have this little clip, this this vlog later on, you know, just to remember how excited I was and then him coming home. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, but tomorrow is going to be really exciting. I'm going to try to vlog it. We have a fundraising event after church. It's a potluck and then kind of a, just a pie the pastor is what we're calling it, but um, a fundraising event raising money for our Rwanda missions trip in August that Brian's going on. And um, the more money people raise, the more pies that are thrown at the pastors of the church, which includes Brian. So it's going to be hilarious. I'm definitely going to try to capture it on film and get, get it on the vlog. But um, yeah, just wanted to end this here, but say thank you for all of your support and your love and your encouragement the last couple weeks while Brian was gone. And oh, I can't even tell you in words how happy I am that he's home. It's it's so good. My heart feels so happy. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Dream big and love even bigger. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.